y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks, and today we're making cabbage smoked sausage from a guy in Georgia, cream potatoes, and cornbread. take some sweet onion, a little butter, throw in here with my olive oil, and yes, it's preheated, we gotta hurry. This is from Donna, a friend of mine, a viewer, sent me a gift, isn't that sweet? And we're gonna chop up this onion and get in here. Yes, my, brown, my butter's getting brown, but I, I think it'll be good. Make it taste good, won't it? Now this is a cast iron wok that I like to use. It is called a bird hop. It is on my website. And there's other options available as well if you don't want to spend the money to get one of these. But this is a really big one, and I really love it when I do cabbage and stuff like that. Because i got a lot of space to work with. Today, we are making a sausage that I've never bought before. It's called Home Foods. It is from... It says, Food for the Soul, Walter L. Parks, made in the United States, out of Stockbridge, Georgia. I got this at Publix. And to tell you the truth, during the quarantine, uh, there was hardly any sausage left. And for some reason, I don't know, I didn't even look at the price on this, I just grabbed it. But I thought, well, you know what, he's from Georgia, and it says, Soul Food for the Soul, it ought to be a good bet, right? are boiling. My video guy's out in the yard today. He's been to Lowe's to get some plants. And he wants to fix one of the flower beds. So, um, I've got the kitchen to myself today. Here the stuff. Now it's gonna have plenty of grease in it. Not the sausage is getting in there. Yummy. All right, so I'm gonna get a lid on my potatoes so that they come to a bowl faster. This is that new uh, Maxim cookware I was telling y'all about. It has the steamer pot and I really like it. So I'll show you how it works right quick while we're making our potatoes. Um, I thought I would whip up some cornbread real quick as well. So we're going to hop over here and do that. We're going to turn the stove on, 425, the cornbread. Now you can hear when this starts to boil, it starts to whistle. That's when you close the steam button, take it down to the lowest setting, around, you know, between about one if you're electric or on very low if you're gas and then it seals it and cooks it quicker, y'all, than just regular cookware would. I really like it a lot. Um, it's a lot like Salad Master. To me, it's every bit as good. It's almost identical to it. It's made by the, it has to be made by the same people. It's got the same handles, the same bottom, the same stamp on the bottom, etc. And it's less than $300 for a whole set on my website through Amazon. So y'all have fun shopping. 
and enjoy this cookware. All right, I always, I always start out with about a quarter cup of butter and I melt it in a bowl in the microwave and then I come and I finish my cornbread and I'll show you how I do it. All right, I use two cups of cornmeal. And this is white lily cornmeal mix. I'm gonna put in an egg. Buttermilk. You want it to be pretty wet. And if you've never tried it this way, I suggest you try it because a lot of people think you got to preheat the skillet. But my cornbread is very crunchy and delicious just if I do it this way. And then I take, um, let me get rid of this, I just won't use it. And then I take a little bit of cornmeal and I sprinkle the skillet with it. Just like that. Pour it in here and get it in a 425 degree oven until it's nice and brown. By the time it gets done, supper will be, well this is lunch actually, our lunch will be ready. and uh, pour off the excess oil to do our cabbage. It smells really good though. I think I'm gonna really like the sausage. A lot better than the cheap stuff, I think. It's gonna be. All right, I have no idea what I had my video on. Chris came in to help, thank goodness. We're about to throw some cabbage in the skillet. I'm gonna save just enough to make some slaw with. The rest of it, I'm okay. good. Let's get it in here. because it cooks down, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna let this simmer in here. I'm gonna go ahead, though, and salt and pepper this. I'm sure the sausage is gonna have a good bit of salt in it. Let's taste one of the sausages, y'all. That's good. Um, I was going to show it one more time. Home style foods, smoked sausage out of Stockbridge, Georgia. It says 
Walter Parks. So this, it's greasy, I'll tell you that. But it's good. Okay, let's salt and pepper it. And I'm gonna add a little bit of, um, I got all this flavor and this oil. I'm just going to add a little bit of the oil back in. And then I'm going to put a little water in here to help steam it for a minute. By the time I, I clean my potatoes, my uh, Cornbread gets done. I'm gonna have to turn this up. I didn't really have it turned up. I had it on like three. So anyway, I'll see y'all in a minute when this starts to cook. Okay, this has started up good. Y'all, I tasted this cabbage with that uh, grease that I put in there and oh my gosh, this is gonna be the best sausage that I have bought. I know I'm gonna like it better than all the rest of them that I bought so far. So y'all have got to try it. You won't be disappointed. And in just a minute, I'm gonna add, I think we'll just go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and add our onions and our sausage and mix it up and let it finish cooking with this good flavor in there. Now, if you like a whole lot of flavor, you can put some spices in it, but because I like just the, the taste of the sausage and onion, um, I'm not going to add extra spices because sausage has a lot of spices in it if it's good sausage. If you're buying that old turkey sausage or chicken sausage and some of the other brands that are cheaper, um, you know, they may not have as good of spices in their sausage, but now this is really tasty, and I think it's going to be good just like it is. So we're going to just let this cook down some. Just happened to have a real plate to put it on. we got to get out our um, cornbread. It's done. I'm just going to flip it out right here and stick the uh, thing back in the oven. And I'm going to let y'all see how crunchy it is the way we do it and I don't preheat the skillet but I still want you to see I mean it's got a nice crunchy top on it make sure you flip it out um, so that it gets crunchier as it gets cooled down some all right we're gonna make this a plate some good eats today Now we're gonna get us some creamed potatoes. If y'all wanna know how I make my creamed potatoes, all you gotta do is watch one of my videos about creamed potatoes. Some good butter on there. But you gotta have creamed potatoes, I think, with cabbage. Okay. And cut us a piece of cornbread. This is a good meal to keep us going till supper time. That pretty? Yum yum. Well, I love cream potatoes, cabbage and cornbread. That man knows how to make sausage. me a big old bite y'all thanks for watching colored valley cooks where we could like mama did bye y'all love ya